it's me, Alice Michaelis. Anyways, so I'm going to be reading another one tonight. I think I'm only going to be reading three, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this is Ghost in Masuang Tunnel. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Korean Ghost Stories, 2013. This is recent. Like, it's closer than any of the other ones I've read. Oh my god, would you work? <laughs> Ghost in Masung Tunnel. This is actually the only one that's actually had the full title, just in English. Written and illustrated by Rang. Okay. It was sev several years ago. Good, it's a girl this time. I was on my way to my hometown alone on an express bus. I don't like being alone on buses. I just don't. Okay. Hmm. There were only 10 or less passengers seated in here. And there, here and there. Ugh. As the bus slid into a tunnel, with the surroundings becoming dark, I let my eyes shut, closing the book I was reading on the bus to kill the boredom of a long bus ride home. It was not long before I fell asleep. I might have been pretty tired. Some time has passed. I opened my eyes again and start and stared outside the window to find that we were still in the tunnel looking all glaring red while the bus was running cautiously. Since it felt as a quiet and long l l l lapse of time, I just thought that it was another tunnel different from the one where I fell asleep. But no matter how far the bus ran, there was no end to the tunnel. This is like the movie Dead End. No, not Dead End. Uh... Ooh, what's that movie called now? It's where the station is. Ooh, I can't think of it now. It's our dead end or... What is it called? That's going to drive me insane now. Anyways. It seems, as if, it seems as if an air from somewhere outside this world was surrounding me, giving me an awkward and discomfort feeling. I had chills all over my body. I leaned over to the corridor to have a better glimpse of inside. All the passengers seemed to be asleep, letting their bodies slip the side. However, it did not give me a clear view due to the seats and high backs. I turned around to see the tail, tail part of the bus. Ho! Oh! Pretend to be dead, girl. Pretend to be dead. <laughs> to find out some passengers lying on the floor with fatal damage to their bodies and bleeding heavily. A feeling of terrible accident crossed my mind, then suddenly, a creepy weird noise came from the front. I know it's not probably not that kind of snap, but that's the only snap I can do right now. WHAT ARE YOU?! Ah! Please don't turn around. <laughs> Can I turn on the... If I go down... You're staying with me now. <laughs> You're allowed to sleep on my bed now. <laughs> Where are you? Ah, you're not leaving my room tonight. <laughs> what are you? Oh, I hope that was my computer. I got a warm feeling on my foot. I'm going to put my legs up here now. <laughs> I should not be doing this at night time. <laughs> From then, I don't have an exact memory. Stop, stop, I'm gonna scream again, Max. Don't, don't kick me. I panic, panically pushed my seatbelt button to loosen myself until my fingernails were broken into pieces, but... Stay with me, Max. Please. Clink. 
Strangely, my seatbelt did not move a bit. Please don't. I don't want to move! I got a feeling a jump scare is going to come along. I don't want to move. I'm going to scream. <laughs> smile. 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 Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come here, boy! Protect me! Stick it! Not my computer. God! Dog! Stop! Stop! Sit! Good boy. Stop! stop. <laughs> Please! Ah! Max! Smile! Max! What are you gonna take to? I call you both! Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Don't, don't. Okay, we're gonna just ignore the dog in the background. Do I really have to make the flump noise? I think she's doing a good job. Sit! 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 Good boy. The knife. One moment, please. I'm back. Please don't get excited again. The knife of the cold went straight through my thigh, leaving me a burning pain and stripped myself of consciousness. Fuck you, car. <laughs> I woke up to find myself in a hospital ward. There might have been a terrible accident. TV newsmen went on and to report the accident every day. Express bus collision in Maesong Tunnel. It wasn't a collision. Eight were dead, including the driver, leaving only myself and another passenger alive. People say I was in a coma for two days with a severe damage in my leg and an injury in the head. It really was a major accident, but they said I survived because of the seatbelt. That protection from me bouncing out of the bus. Um, no, you were killed almost because of that seatbelt. I tried to convince the doctor, nurses, and even police officers investigating the case about the kid I saw on the bus, but no one seemed to believe me. I'm itching now because of my dog. Another survivor is still in a coma. In, in, I'm itching because of you, Max. You better be happy. He is in the ward right next to mine. The person, probably might have seen what I saw on the bus. Okay. What the fuck? Oh no, it's too calm to have. Please. They're buried a fa they ugh. they're buried a family in Montansaku Sung located in Yokosai. I'm going I'm butchering these so bad. Yang Do Dis do <laughs> dissipate to death due to the wrongful occasion as traitors by King Kwong. What? King Kwong. Oh, he. One of them was a little child who just started to say a few words. A spirit of a young child looks like a half rotten corpse used to come down to a village and claimed tens of people's lives. Tons of people's lives. Having heard about the tragic story, Guan Hai placed a large rock on that field where the family is buried, and the ghost of a child never was seen again. Someone moved the rock. Monsanto Tunnel was where the accident took place, runs through Mount Seikosang, and was open for traffic in 1994. Is this real? I don't want to go there. No. No! No! It's too calm! I don't want another. Okay. The end. Well, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>